All right, in this section of the bootcamp series, we're going to continue covering some concepts when it comes to vehicles. Uh, some of these concepts have been covered in previous videos, so I'm just going to briefly touch on them here. Uh, all vehicles do come with an inherent crew that will sometimes be put onto the map in certain situations. Got an example of this Sherman tank here and a crew marker here next to it. The crew markers are generic. Um, you'll have just a handful of them with all the games for the different uh, nations, and you'll be able to use them for whatever vehicle you're doing a bailout check for. So when a vehicle is destroyed, you're going to perform a bailout check and as long as it's not destroyed by a close assault. In that case, you they're considered to have killed the crew. And when you perform this bailout check, you're gonna roll a 1d6, and on a roll of a one, you'll place a crew marker in the hex with the rec marker for the destroyed vehicle, and you'll mark it with a move counter. In that situation, the crew will be in good order, but if the vehicle is abandoned instead, the crew will actually come out shaken, but they will still be marked with a moved counter. Now, some vehicles are gonna have armor leaders. I've got an example here of this Tiger One with an armor leader. Again, you can tell that it's a armor leader because they don't have a movement factor. The one thing to remember with armor leaders is they are never going to be on the map on their own. So if this Tiger were destroyed or abandoned, did a bailout check and the crew popped out, you would not place the armor leader counter with them. You would simply remove the uh, armor leader counter from the game at that point. Also, vehicles are capable of what's called continuous movement. It means that you know they start moving during one turn and they're gonna continue moving during the following turn. You're going to apply that to make sure that your vehicle maintains the modifier for being shot at. So if you have a vehicle, let's say our tank here had moved or assault moved in the previous turn during that admin phase instead of removing these counters you would take and turn it 180 degrees to signify that the vehicle is going to do continuous movement so it would maintain the modifier when it was shot at that it had previously it would have to continue moving at that point but it could take and use whatever type of movement it wanted. If it moved uh, in the previous turn, just a regular move, it could do an assault move in this turn and vice versa, just as long as it continued with its movement. You couldn't change your mind and keep the counter and then just stay there at that point. Now, speaking of modifiers, there are some optional modifiers in the game. They're located on your turn record track. I've got an example on screen for you now. And these just have to do with the fact that larger vehicles are going to be easier to hit and smaller, faster vehicles are going to be harder to hit. You can use these modifiers if you wish. They're easy. They apply to the direct fire table, the ordinance table. And like I said, they're right there on your player aid turn record track. Last couple of things real quick. There are some vehicles that have no rear armor and it's signified by a star instead of an armor value. This T13 is an example. And there's a difference between a zero and a star. A zero doesn't mean no armor. It just means it has zero for the armor value. A star means no armor, and you will treat it if it's hit there as if it were an unarmored vehicle. So if this tiger shot the T-13 in the rear and hit it in that unarmored location, it would just automatically be destroyed. You would not do any penetration rolls at that point. Also, there are some vehicles that are considered open top. I've got an example for you on screen now. And the rule for that is very simple. Any vehicle that is open topped is going to be considered to be open at all times. All the rules that apply to open, like them being vulnerable to small arms fire, is going to apply to that vehicle at all times. In most cases, on the uh, back above the ordinance table, it will list down the fact that the vehicle is open topped.